this video, we're going to talk about the Clayson condensation and also cross Clayson condensation. Okay. And the, the Clayson condensation is, is typically, you usually see a ketone or even an aldehyde and you're reacting it with some sort of, um, ester. Okay. So you react a ketone or an aldehyde or some sort of ester. Yeah. And you add it in five more, uh, and you add it in sodium methoxide in base. Yeah. Where's my alpha hydrogen? Well, notice that I have, uh, this also have alpha and alpha carbon, but remember, uh, the one that's not conjugated. Yeah. Because you could see that this will be my leaving group. And so therefore I will get uh, deprotonation on the ketone carbonyl. Okay. So one of these, in, in, this is symmetric. So it doesn't matter which carbon we go after. So this is going to generate a negative charge on the, 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 the carbon of the, the ketone. Yeah. And if we add this to a simple ester, what it will do is attack the carbonyl and displace the ester and displace that, that leaving group. And so in other words, we get the structure to be something like this. Okay. And this is a beta di ketone. So with Clayson esters, with Clayson condensation, all we're doing is we're forming beta di ketones. Yeah. So let's take a look at some. So, so that's an example. Let's take a look at another example. Yeah. It so happens that I could also take, you know, a simple ester such as this and add five more percent, five more percent of base sodium methoxide. Yeah. And what is it going to do? It's going to deprotonate my, it's going to deprotonate my alpha carbon, those hydrogens It's going to deprot one. And it's also going to give me the original molecule back. So it's give me the original molecule back. And what happens? This attacks the carbonyl and this place that ethoxide is a leaving group. And so in that sense, we form this. Yeah. So we get the, the ester and this carbon now is bonded to a carbonyl that has that. And this is the product that we get. So in this case, we form a beta diketone. In this case, we form a beta, beta keto ester. Okay. So anytime you see these carbonyls, one carbon away from each other, there are two carbons away. Yeah. Two carbons away from each other. One, two, you know, one, two, then we know this is a place and con you know, it's a place and condensation. Okay. And, and that's the, that's the simple idea. That's the simple idea. Now the cross clears and condensation is, is the idea that we're taking, you know, two esters. We're taking two esters. When we talk about the cross clason, in this case, we could take this molecule here. This is an ester. So we take two esters. Okay. And we actually cross them. So notice this is two esters. And if I add, uh, sodium methoxide, Okay, in ethanol. But Cross Clayson says that I'm taking two esters and crossing them, but one has to have no alpha hydrogens. No alpha, there's no there's no alpha hydrogens, okay? So if you look, this is an ester. Well, this has no alpha hydrogens. Yeah, this has no alpha hydrogens. This is the only only ester that have the alpha hydrogen. So that's the Clayson condens uh, Clayson cross condensation where I'm taking two esters and I'm crossing them, but one has no alpha hydrogens. And so we can definitely see that this only have the only, this is a molecule only have the alpha hydrogens. And so if that is true, then we get deprotonation on this one. Okay. We still have the molecule looks like this. And, and we have this molecule here. There's our ketone, there's our ester. Okay. Now what will happen? This will come in attack and displace its oxide as a leaving group. Okay. So when that happened, what do we form? Let's think about what do we form? Well, if I'm looking at this, here's my benzene ring. Okay. Here's my benzene ring. There's my ketone. Now this, this ketone here is bonded to this. So this ketone here is bonded to this carbon. Yeah. This carbon that has this R group out here, but this carbon also have, uh, this ketone group here, this ester group out here. Okay. 
So this would be the part that I would form. And this is a beta keto ester. So again, anytime you see the, the, the ketones being one, one, uh, three, uh, two carbons away, one, two, no, uh, one, two, one, two away from each other, we know it's a clase and condensation. Uh, and again, cross clase and condensation only differs from the fact that we're using two clasins, we're using two um, ketones, we're using two esters, I'm sorry about that, two esters with one having no alpha, uh, with one having no alpha carbons, okay? And so we could also look at another one. So what if I take these two molecules here? Yeah, what if I take this plus this, okay? And I add sodium ethoxide, yeah, and ethanol. What is gonna be my product? Well, again, the question I ask myself, where's my alpha hydrogen? And so, well, well, my, yeah, where my alpha alpha carbon is, and it, it's here. Yeah, notice that this have no alpha carbon, and again, you could even call, call this a place and cross condensation. In fact, it is. But my only alpha carbon is here, and the hydrogens are here. So when I add base, I'll actually deprotonate. Okay, I'll actually deprotonate that will give me that negative charge there, and then we simply add it to this molecule here. Again, notice this is our leaving group, so this is going to attack and displace our leaving group, okay, displace the oxide. And so what are the product? The product will look something like this. I'm going to draw the molecule exactly as it is. So we have the ketone here, which is this part. Now, this carbon now is bonded to a carbonyl. This carbon now is bonded to a carbonyl, yeah, that has this R group on it. Yeah, and so this would be the product of the reaction. So again, you could see that it's it's the reactions are simply the reaction the re predicted reaction products are not really that hard to be honest with you. Predicted reaction products are not really that hard. Now this is also a place in condensation. Yeah. So what if I take this molecule here, these two molecules here? Yeah. Yeah. What if I take these two molecules here? Yeah. What if I take these two molecules here, okay, and I react it with uh, sodium ethoxide and ethanol? Yeah, what would happen? Well, again, I like to ask myself, where's my alpha carbon? Where my alpha hydrogens are? Okay, we notice this molecule have no alpha hydrogens. This does. Here's our alpha carbon, so we know this will get deprotonated. And if that is true, then we know that we'll generate something in solution such as this. We have a negative charge here, yeah. Plus, we have this molecule here, yeah. So what will happen next? Is this will just simply attack. So it's going to attack and displace ethoxide as a leaving group. And so when we look at this, let's predict the structure. Okay, I'm going to draw my benzene ring. Here's my ketone, yeah. Now look, this carbon here, which is this, is bonded to this carbon. So it's bonded to this carbon, okay? Now this carbon has a ketone, another ketone group, and it has this old, all this R group here, yeah? So this would be the, 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 the structure of the product. And again, this is a beta keto ester. So you can see that these, 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 rea these, these uh, the reaction synthesis themselves is not hard. The hardest part is, is making the molecules. The hardest part is for me to give you this molecule and ask you, where does it come from? And, and that's when we're gonna amp up, it, amp up the difficulty. And we're actually gonna, I'm actually gonna have a video specifically uh, pertaining to that, of making the, the molecules from, from, from different points of view.